Okay, I'm back again. Let's get started. Sorry about the interruptions. There we go. That's family's for you. I'm doing that a bit too much. I think that's all I need. Just tend a little bit. And uh, dampen off this brush a bit. Small amount, dump it back a bit just to darken it down a touch, and let's go. There we go. Just keep stippling it until you get the required effect that you want. I'm going to add a little bit lighter green to this. I'm going to use that uh, Village 833. Just a small amount, don't need loads. Just to bring up the moss effect. Yeah, that's just lovely. That's a nice effect, that. I'm going to take this off. Let's be hard. Let's see how get this go. Just a moment. Alright. Let that dry for a while. Let's get back into the grey. Oh, just too much. There's loads of brush up. Take off the excess and then stipple. And that's the effect I'm, I'm after. Turn the lamp on and see what happens. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's the effect I'm after. If you can see that there. Okay, that's what that is at the back at the moment. Still a bit more work to do, we need to add a bit more weight. Okay. There, now see? See how that works? So from that there, let's pick a spot. And these are going to be slightly darker because there's not much sunlight gets inside the the, uh, the shed. But you can see how that works. That's just stippling. It's not dry brushing it. Which is a form of dry brushing, it's just stippling. Basically taking off what excess paint on the brush. Just you know, lighting it down a bit. Shouldn't take long to do this. Oh. Remember it's going to be dark near the bottom. In the corners it's going to be dark. And then I light your shade as you go out. The whole lot it gets done. Back it down a little bit. Just darken the grey down, that's better. Around the gable ends a bit. I'm going to go back over that once that gets a bit, a bit dry. Let's get in here done quickly. The idea is to try and get random shades of grey the best you can. brush start to work better because it's starting to dry off and basically it just picks out the raised areas darken it down a bit 
ね。どうぞ。And if you make a mistake, you just go back over with the primer. If you're not happy with the result, but what I'm after is old stone. Let's darken that down a little bit. Let's go back over this again. It's like layering on top of the greens. Oh, that's nice. That is a nice coat. That is just, just nice. Yeah. It. That's the family getting ready to go out and ride some horses. Uh, I'm back a bit more in here, but Okay, let's dab in a bit of green in there, a bit of dark green. Let's see, we'll just start with that. Was it 823 Luftwaffe Cam Green? Push around the bottom of the stones, the top and in the centre. Push around and pick. I mean, if you want reference, go on Google and go on all, all sandstone walls. Uh, the ideal ones that to get, I would say, is bridges. You know, your stone bridges, railway bridges. The stomach on there is perfect, it's large enough, and you, you get fantastic array of colours. So. I'm knocking that green down a little touch just to see what the different green effects I get. Oh, that's nice. We've got nice dark contrast on the inside of the shed. Very dark and greenish in the corners. It's not well, going to the stretch right, I mean, you're not saying not wash your brush out, it's still dry. So just to start another fresh colour there, so to speak. And go Try that brush out completely. Get yeah, some more white on that. That's better. That's better. Just like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Digging this bit of green. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm going to give it a quick dry out. Nice 
sorted. Okay. Right, this washes brush like that. We're going to get this one ready for the roof. Let's move them boards up for a moment. I don't need them. Let's see it. Okay. I need to get a couple of browns. Let's try this off quickly. 